Okay, we got a new package in today. Uh, should be my boat. I ordered from Hong Kong. I got it from Germany. Who knows? Let's look at the bomb. Let's hope it doesn't go off. And it's double wrapped uh, for for super duper uh, protection, I guess. Hope no weirdo spiders and flies out of here. Know, what kind of packaging is this? Jeez. It's like a kilo of cocaine or something, man. That's how they package it over there. It's not from South America, man. Well, I got my other stuff, too. I forgot about that. Okay. This is truly an unboxing video. If there ever was one. Look at that. Look at that. I actually opened it. On the right side. What's that? <laughs> I think the dog just fell on the stairs. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Super duper packaging. It looks nice. Okay, this looks pretty cool. 14 plus. I think I qualify. I'm about 15, so. Uh, I don't know who even makes this boat, to tell you the truth. Velocity? Vitality? The actual bow is a FT-007, like it says. That's great and all. It's about $50. Mainly sold over in Hong Kong or online uh, eBay realtors that get them from Hong Kong, ultimately, anyways. And since it's $50, I figured I'd try it out. I've seen lots of videos on them running, and they're pretty impressive. It's 2.4 gigahertz. For 50 bucks, it goes down the river. Who cares? Who freaking cares? So yeah, it's nice. It's got a little handle on it. Look at that. In case you want to buy it at the store. I don't know why that's all blocked out. And there's a window here so you can look at. They want to puncture it through. Okay, sure. It's a long, uh, long, long haul on the boat. Literally, from uh, Hong Kong over. And that's about what I expected. Flip it around here. We've got some instructions. Uh, the remote, of course, looks dingy and cheap, but as long as it doesn't lose reception and uh, it's 2.4 gigahertz, feels okay. Okay enough. Probably a five year old kit put together in China. As far as the remote goes, I know nothing about this except what I've seen online. Um, hopefully, gonna go try it out today. Cover is one heck of a cover to take off. You got your throttle trim, um, turn to fine trim, and of course your power switch. Once you get batteries in there, you got the fin because you're like a shark in the water, I guess. Who knows? It takes Superman to get this off. Or you take the screw out, one of the two. What the heck's going on? How many batteries it take? Come on. Ooh, six freaking batteries. Double days. It's okay. What's this? Your stand for it? This is the nose for it, nose protector, I guess. For the uh, the bow. That's the stern, so it's the bow, yeah, sure. You got a spare prop just in case the other one flies off somewhere. Maybe this one's a different angle or something like that. Different size, different angle, so you can uh, kind of like a different pinion in a car. It's supposed to be a lipo battery. It's got the uh, connector for it. It's got a really weird regular connector for it. Okay, these two are just the power. That's weird. 
700 milliamp, 7.4 volt. Uh, yeah, super lithium ion. So it's lithium ion, it's not even a lithium polymer. But it has the same characteristics as the lithium uh, polymer, obviously. That's okay, my charger can charge that as long as I find an adapter for that. Instead of using this, which is their trickle charger that comes with it, like comes with any RTR, this is how they uh, tie it up there, I guess. Whatever. Less garbage for uh, the oceans, I guess. Zip ties and packaging, I hate when there's too much. Let's see if this thing just falls out. Oh, it just blew right out of there. See that? Holy cow. That's why they got it tied on back here. Let's see if we can find something for that. Sure. There's a zip tie back here. Ugh. So what is it? Since no one's uh, ever mentioned it, I'll measure it right in front of you. It's, let's say, about a stern. About a stern, it's uh, 11 and a quarter, I would say, inches from the uh, rudder fin or whatever it is here to the bow. It's 14 inches. All right, I like how they have the blue in the background here for water. Look, it's, look, it's on water. Well, it's actually not water. Okay, so this thing has some junky seals on here. They're like foam. They're kind of falling out already. I'm sure the foam is fine. Just like a foam on a receiver, on a waterproof uh, receiver box for like the stampede, let's say. I just need to glue them in so they don't fall off. So it's basically keeps the water out. Now, you know, a brush motor just like anything else is uh, waterproof enough. Servo, I'm not sure if it is or not. On, on this particular one. Um, but there's a servo. I might get the camera from you here in a second and do that. It's got a little cooling fan on there for the... Uh, you know, it's the whole outdrive shaft here. There's the motor. There's the electrical connectors for it all. This is for your battery. And this is the, yeah, the cooling fan for that. It goes on straight out to your uh, prop here. Rudder, prop. That's the rudder. That's prop. Sure. Uh, there's your holder for the battery. And supposedly it works pretty good as far as holding it in. I guess they made it so it's, uh, it's a little loose on mine. I don't get it. Okay. But it is right for it. They obviously made it so you can put a three cell in there or whatever you want to do. So you can do that. Plug it in right there. So that locks down, sits into there. And then they got the, supposedly they got the uh, receiver and all that stuff up here and an actual, uh, another box for the, to waterproof it more and then supposedly these right here that one oh I know there's that one why is there a hole up here that's kinda weird there's that one and I think no that's not one. Oh yeah these two that one and that one there's some kind of water sensor so the prop doesn't run it's not in the water, so you're not like, oh yeah, this thing's really cool, and then moron goes and freaking flicks the throttle, and you're going Aah! like that, you know, it'd be, yeah, not good. Well, I say this thing's fast, and it's everything's fine, it doesn't break in five seconds if I don't crash into a rock wall. Uh, it's actually pretty nice for 50 bucks, shipped, so, uh, it's light enough, so it should, should fly. Now supposedly you can take these contacts, that one, that one, and this one, and put them all in there together, up here where they come up here. There's a, uh, there's a connector up there for them all. And you can, uh, basically just wire them together and I'll be like, yeah, it's always in the water. It's not safe, but it's it'll in case they're not in contact with the water at all times, um, it'll still run so it doesn't just die out on you in the middle of the lake. But uh, I don't know. It's okay. It's definitely okay.
think it's time to go try it out personally. Getting really excited. Make sure the battery's charged. Let's go do it. So, uh, final thoughts on this is that it's tons of fun, especially for fifty dollars. Um, I put it into a couple rocks, boulders, whatever. Got it caught in some seaweed. Might even be some still on there. And it kind of cut through it. And, uh, you know, kept on going. As far as the range goes, I couldn't really test how far out I could go. Um, because I didn't have a raft to go get it or a boat. <laughs> so... Uh, I went out far enough, and I know it's it's got the range, and I didn't lose it. Um, and the running video at the lake, um, but I want to really test the limits. But either way, it wasn't glitchy. It wasn't uh, it wasn't any of that. So I would say the radio, the radio is even decent um, in that that department as far as range goes, and uh, the steering is nice and proportional and it's really easy to steer even in my little pond out front of my house so that was impressive too and for the open road i.e. the uh, the lake I put it out for a while I was you know going full throttle out there for a while and uh, that was just uh, it's, it's quite a bit of speed too for being a brush system uh, I hit uh, some rocks early on with the tip of the boat without the the cover on there no chips no chunks no cracks and I was going pretty fast so um, the body of the boat the hull whatever I call it is a, a definite win also I like this little stand so it's not just flopping around not sure I got it on there right I think it goes this way personally seems to fit better. As far as the seals go, I did glue them with super glue onto the cover here so they don't fall off when I pull the cover on and off. And uh, there's a couple of dabs on there along the way and it worked just fine. Uh, it does get water in here a little bit, um, but it's, it stays at the bottom. So I think it's kind of raised off of that. It doesn't actually flood out in there. Batteries raised and all that. So that's a plus too, because all your connectors over here are raised up too, so they don't have no water intrusion problems. And the rest of it's what, plastic and brass, so it's like the outdrive here. So I did put the cover on, but that hole in the bottom of the boat for, was for in the beginning of this video. Obviously, if you just put the thing together. <clears throat> Others said they had the problems with the uh the water sensors, I had zero problems. It's just a great, smooth running, fast boat that sounds realistic. And for $50 to get into it, see if you want it, want to get into boating, RC boating, or you lose it down the river, or a big fish takes it under, or a snapping turtle, maybe more likely. Um, it's no big deal. It's got no scratches, so no nothing. I went through some rough stuff. Um, so I give it an A plus for the for the price. Definitely A plus. So I would say if you want to think about getting into RC boating, get into it with something like this. This one's a tried and true. There's plenty of reviews out there that say it's it's great, no problems. And just drive it for a while, and you know, you only spent 50 bucks on it, battery included, radio, everything. So, you know, if you want it uh, to get into RC boating any further, you know, and if you're just going to do it as a, as a, you know, once in a while thing, and then that's $50, no big deal. So, for me, the fun fact went away a little bit because I was limited to the shoreline. Um,. And also, even my, with my other RCs, like so, I gotta have more than one. So, um, I do have another one coming for my son, 
and we can zip around and, you know, uh, play chicken, I guess you could say, and cut each other off and jump each other's wake, I guess you could say. Uh, maybe jump over each other if you get a real boat's wake and, you know, hop over the other one, stuff like that. Race, I mean, so that'll definitely bring the fun factor way up. And uh, so I got that coming. And I'll definitely do a video of that. That video will be with my dogs in the water and both boats next time. And uh, that'll definitely increase the uh, fun factor. I say go for it. That's my final word.